All right. Uh, okay. Uh, we have the timer. The timer is going. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Olivia DeMarzo. I am a Spanish teacher. I'll be teaching Spanish two and culture and film this year. Cool. Culture and films. That's exciting. So would yeah. that be like a separate course into itself? Um, it is its own course. It's um, a good course for students that aren't quite ready to go into Spanish four, but they go in from Spanish three. Um, also like native speakers or her, uh, heritage speakers. It's good for them too. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Uh, remind me, I'll tell you after we talk, a couple of really good Colombian movies I saw this year. Oh yeah, great, cool. Really, well, really, good, one. ones. really good ones. Yeah. Um, so now this is your first full year at NHS, is that right? It is, yeah. I was long-term subbing last semester for um, Sandra Cobasa and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Interesting the, year, of course, to start, but you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. What was it like <laughs> to step into the BASA zone? Wow, let me tell you. It was funny because kids would come into my classroom and totally walk through the door thinking it was going to be BASA, and then they would look at me and go, oh. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, yeah, big shoes to fill, let me tell you. She is, okay. she's big. an amazing an big, amazing teacher, an amazing person. So big, big little uh, shoes. That's yeah, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Now, um, what's something that you're excited about in terms of this year teaching, either in the um, class or how you're going to teach it? Something I'm excited. I'm excited about um, being like a. This sounds silly, but I'm excited about like having the students like feel like really my students whereas like last semester was kind of like they did feel like my students and I was super excited and it, it did feel like my classroom at the end of it but like to feel like okay this is really my classroom this is these are the classes I'm teaching um, my students um, that's what I'm really looking forward to mostly I'm excited to see what comes of this year too I it was so interesting throughout the remote period seeing all the th different things that teachers did. People got so creative. So I'm liking that, like thinking of like, okay, how am I gonna do this? But I have to do it this way through using you know, different yeah. forms of technology and whatever, so. Yeah, I really um, like that. I mean, I feel like it's, we're trying to game the pandemic a little bit. You yeah, know, no, definitely. You're trying to like beat this thing and you, you can't beat it by just going to school because that's not gonna happen, but be creative. So. What were you like on your first day of high school? What, were, what, who, what, were, what kind of person were you and what was it like? Um, I think I was really nervous. Um, geez, I just didn't really know what to expect. I was so nervous getting on my bus. That I remember. I remember standing in my bus stop and like almost shaking because then I walked on the bus and it was all like the big seniors sitting in the back or like, you know, and that I was really nervous about. But then once I walked through the doors, I saw familiar faces and it didn't feel so bad. Yeah. You know, totally. What were you like as a person? What's the okay. Olivia like? Yeah. Then? Okay. So I, I played sports, um, but I didn't like them very much. So I, I definitely struggled with that. And then I eventually just quit all of them because I was like, this really isn't my thing. Um, I did resume them again in college. I did club sports, but in high school, I was really into community service, the arts. Um, I loved, I did play soccer and I played lacrosse. And I did track, I tried those things out. Um, but mostly I was, yeah, I don't know. I was just, I tried to be involved in as many things as I possibly could. And sometimes I think I overwhelmed myself. So I wouldn't advise a student to like overbook your schedule because I did that for the first few years and then I burnt out and I was like, mm, no, thank you, no more, you know, but um, yeah. That is a balance. And just for, for totally. you freshmen, just so you know, we'll be having a page with all the clubs and about them and how to join them. So that's still very much happening this year. So that's- Yeah, good. great, I'm glad to hear that. Well, thanks so much for doing this with us. Um, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm sure your students are gonna be really in good hands this semester and, and then hopefully <laughs> before we know it, we'll be in the same room again. Yeah, I know, me too, <laughs> definitely.